I've got this 81 for sale for restoration. Um, it's restoration because there's some bearing noise. Um, you can hear the small end bearing. A little clatter there now and again. Um, so I think that needs skewing. It starts and runs, the clutch works, it goes through the gears and stuff. Um, so these worth a lot of money when they're when they're restored. Um, yeah, I think mechanically that's it really. I would tear the engine down and rebuild it, put some new bearings in there. Um, overall condition is really nice for the age. The uh, seat's pretty good. It's the original seat, it's got a couple of couple of little nicks in it. The other one that side. Tank's really really good for the age. I mean there's there's little nicks and stuff in there. The badges, I've left the plastic bits on there from where the badges disintegrated. <coughs> it's got a few chips on the front corner there. But as far as dents are concerned it's really really nice. I mean there's some like micro dents in it you know. You got to feel them, really. I think that's that's the biggest one there. Um, but I think that's lovely. Front guard looks good. There's some wear on the front fork chrome there, although it doesn't seem to be leaking. Um, obviously, these rubbers need replacing because you know this is a restoration. Um, the front stanchions look nice. The drum looks nice. There's some rust rust damage in there that's quite heavily pitted in there um, so that's gonna need doing or you might you know if you start losing air you might want to replace that rim let me turn it around so you can see it a bit better oh, oh there it is front tire cracked you're gonna have to replace that um, I think the lights work actually. Yeah. The, the rear light works as well, but it's not on because I broke the bulb when I was taking it out to clean the to clean the lens and to clean the light. You know with WD40. The horn I can just about hear something. Um, obviously the taco works, I don't know about the speedo. I've got the, the rubber boots missing, but I've got a new one coming. I'll include that. Um, back tyre's really good. I've put a new tube in there. The chain looks all right, and there's no noise when you roll it around like a, you know, like a bad chain, so it might be fine. Um, I put new points and condenser in there. Um, and I noticed there was a little bit of play on the crankshaft. So that's another reason why you should tear it down. I mean, this is a good time to do it while it's all still good and, you know, not chewed up. Um, the rear guard, there was some, um, like, rust runs on here. So I just why I brushed it back to see that it was all solid, and it is really solid. I think it must have been stored and just dripped out of the, out of the roof onto the, onto the rear mud guard and rust stained it. Um, exhaust is really really good condition not corroded um, so these inner crank crankcase screws there's no marks of wear on those that I can see so I would guess that it's never been stripped <coughs> which is obviously great um, rear rear rim so there is a little bit of uh, hitting pitching around here to the chrome hub looks all right um, there's some chrome chrome missing there um, and you know there's a few chips in the paint and stuff like that but I mean overall I think it's really nice oh I put a new clutch cable on it as well um, and I've got a new set of clutch clutch plates OEM from Japan that I'll include for your rebuild 
Um, but yeah, I think it's really good bones for a restoration. Um, and I want a decent amount of money for it because, uh, you know, it, it owes me a fair bit because of the, the parts that I, I bought. You know, the points, condenser, clutch plate, um, the rubber boot. Um, I'm missing some things. There's some other things I bought for it too. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you look at the NADA values for these, um, they, they have sold for over, for just under 6,000 or around 6,000. And uh, this doesn't does not need a paint job. For, I mean, I would be really happy just to run it with that. That's an authentic, original paint job there. So you can hear it's warmed up. You can hear the rattling a little bit more. And the exhaust is leaking there. That's what those spits are around there. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really good bones. Really good project for somebody. And if you're going to rebuild an engine like this, these are pretty simple. But you must use a crankcase splitter. You never want to tap the crankshaft because you can knock the knock the webs and put the crankshaft out of line. So use the correct tools. Use a crankshaft splitter to 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 um, pull the crankshaft cases off of the crank rather than tapping it. Um, the in there is this, it's electric start by the way, um, and there's a like a starter motor come generator in there. You've got an armature in the middle, and then you've got a casing on the outside with the magnets in it, and it doubles as a, as a starter when you push the button, and then it turns into a generator while you're running. Um, I had that off and inspected in there, and while it was while it was off, I put a new crankshaft crankshaft seal on that side because it was easy to do and anytime you're down that far you might as well do it for ten dollars um, and that's what I noticed there was a bit of play in that crank so um, you know I don't I don't want to hoodwink anybody you need to rebuild it but as you can see it starts runs ticks over the electric start works too um, really really good project for somebody um it's my cut off now um i don't want to i don't want to spend any more money i bought it to i bought it to sell it and um so that's where i am so thanks for looking if you've got any questions just ask me um you can probably pick it up by you ship if you go to their website you can get a free estimate pretty quickly um and you're probably looking like three to four hundred bucks to ship this in most places in the us so if you want to factor that in fine um, alright well, I'll catch you later thank you very much